Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Study with God. If you are new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. So today we are going to do structure of chromosome, cell cycle and cell division part 3. In today's, we are going to cover the topic cell cycle and this will be the last video of this chapter. So I hope you love this series of this chapter. Now during the formation of new cells or forming a body like the human body, there are many processes a cell undergoes. So cell cycle is a series or task which a cell perform in dividing. These phases are divided into two phases. The first phase is interphase. And the second phase is M phase. Now interphase, cell cycle is divided into two, interphase and M phase. Interphase is also known as the non-dividing phase, whereas M phase is known as the dividing phase. Now, M phase is further divided into four. These four are prophase, metaphase, Anaphase and telophase. And these comes for arrangement also. You have to arrange them in order. So prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So this question I've told you. Now let's talk about the interface. Now let's talk about the interface. It's known as a preparatory phase. It's not a resting phase. Sorry, I'm not a resting phase. So it's a preparatory phase, not a resting phase. Now over here, a reason comes. So over here, a reason-based question comes. Ki interphase is a resting phase. Now your answer will be no interface is not a resting phase because externally nothing is visible but internally the cell is dividing there is synthesis of DNA synthesis of RNA okay so protein is also synthesized so everything gets synthesized over there your duplication of chromosomes so everything happens over there DNA gets synthesized protein gets synthesized RNA gets synthesized so it's not a resting phase it's a preparatory phase like your class 9th was not a resting phase it was preparing you for the next board exam the upcoming exam that is your class 10th board exam so that was not a, res a resting phase that was a preparatory phase like now interphase is divided into three other uh, subdivided into phases that is G1 S and G2 G1 is also known as the first growth phase S phase is known as synthesis phase. And G2 is known as the second growth phase. Is this one? Because over here, DNA which is deoxyribonucleic acid gets synthesized. So this a lot of times in the first growth phase RNA and protein synthesizes. Okay, RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. I'm writing over here RNA. Ribonucleic acid. Please see the spelling of ribonucleic acid. Ribonucleic acid. This comes to one marks. I've just told you in the previous video also. Next. S phase. I have told you DNA gets synthesis and chromosomes duplicate.
Now over here again RNA and protein. Now let's talk about the cell division. Now cell division is also divided into two parts or two phases which is mitosis and meiosis. Now mitosis takes place in a somatic or you can say body cells like your skin and all. Skin, liver. So over there your mitosis takes place. It takes place in a body cell. Or somatic cell. Whereas your meiosis takes place in a reproductive cell. Like uh, your testes, your ovaries. Over there it takes place. Okay. So mitosis and meiosis. Now in mitosis. The number of chromosomes remain same it remains 2n diploid where it it's become half so it's haploid that is only and only n your n number stands for 23 right in mitosis identical cells are formed two daughter cells form But over here, four daughters. Now let's just start with M phase of mitosis phase. In this, karyokinesis takes place, which is division of the nucleus. Okay. Now let's start with M phase. Divide it into four. In uh, prophase, it is divided into two or uh, four. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Now, let's start with the prophase. The prophase in animals. So, I made a diagram. Okay, this is a centriole. It will start disappearing. In, uh, at the end of the prophase, this nuclear membrane will disappear. And this nucleolus will also disappear. So nuclear membrane and nucleolus will also disappear. So over here is a nucleolus. So it and nuclear membrane both started disappearing. Please, I will write over here nucleus. Nucleus. So these are the two features from which you can identify. It's an inter, uh, it's a prophase. So these two features will tell you that it is a prophase. So this is the significant features, or you can say significant way to identify that it's a prophase. So these are the two chromosomes which arrive on equatorial plane and the spindle fiber one will go from above and one will join it and move like this. Again, one will go like this, one will join this and move up and the, again it will be like this. This is your spindle fiber. This is a centriole. This is your asterisk, centromere, cystochromatin, and this is a nuclear uh, cell membrane. Okay. will move to equatorial plane 
its chromosomes and its equatorial planes will lie on the equatorial plane now let's come to is the third phase or of m phase so this is an anaphase this is the circle okay now what happened over here this is centriole asterisk centriole there were two columns wait 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 first now over here what happens is centriole the sister chromatids moves to the opposite fold so if i make it a simple one ki uh, the two have two chromosomes like this it moves the sister chromatid moves to the opposite pole like this if this, this is half it will move like this clear if there will be four chromosomes first this is two chromosome it moves to the opposite pole so the identification is sister chromatids keyword sister chromatid because rest on the phrases there was chromosome over here it is sister chromatid moves to the opposite pole clear now now in telophase what will happen there will be division of the uh, it will divide the cell will divide into two and it will again form a, a nucleus in a spindle different thing and over here there will be two that daughter cell form over here the spindle fiber will disappear nuclear membrane will again it will be occurring so it will be nuclear membrane will reoccur spindle fiber will disappear so it's exactly opposite to the prophase okay so we have done the all phases and the importance of mitosis is for replacement repair and growth and the importance of meiosis is for reproduction so like the video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the new videos so till then bye bye